Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I'll be showing you Wix owner app tutorial. So how do you use the Wix mobile app here? But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we use the Wix owner app tutorial here? Well, in this case, it's actually pretty easy to use. So if you're familiar with the desktop version, it's quite similar to that, but some settings might be in different positions and there are a few customizations that you do here. So first things first is we need to install the actual app. So you could go ahead and open up Google Play Store and search for Wix Owner. So in this case, you go ahead and click on install. And once you fully install that, you could go ahead and click on the open button here. Now, in this case, the first thing you need to do is you need to log in. Now they have an option here to log in via your Google account, which is the method that I choose. Now in this case, depending on the Google app, or for example, the uh, account that is logged in on your Google Play Store, they will get that email address and use that as a means of logging in into your Wix account. Now, in this case, what are the important settings and section here that you need to remember whenever you're accessing the actual app? So first is we have the home page here. Now, from the name itself, you have the option to view the home page. Like for example, you should be able to see the analytics, upcoming sessions, contacts for your website, your payments that is available on your website. So if you want to add payments or just a few settings on your website, the app itself can help you with that. So for example, let's go and click on connect a payment method. So from here, you just need to follow the on-screen steps for you to add your, or basically add accepting or start accepting payments into your account, like uh, adding PayPal, Stripe, or manual payments here. Now, in this case, there are going to be different widgets that you can access here, like price codes, invoice, if you want to create your invoice here, and proposals and form activity and whatnot. But at the very bottom, you have the option to manage your widgets. So in this case, let's go and click on it. Now, in this case, you have the option to delete widgets here if you want to, like for example, proposals, if you want to delete them, and uh, yeah. So in this case, uh, for example, I want to remove the option for media storage here. As you can see, that this will be removed from my widgets. But if you want to re-add it again, you can go and click on the plus button here and even reposition them in whatever method. Like for example, the first thing you want to see in your um, uh, homepage here is going to be your, let's just say, this is going to be the... Um, push notification section. Let's go ahead and press hold in it and make sure that we actually position it at the very top here. And once you're done, just click on save at the top, right? And when we, whenever we go to our uh, website, as you can see in our homepage, we now have the push notifications at the very top. Now, what are the other things that we could do here in our homepage? Now, at the very top, you also have the option to view your uh, website itself. So if you have multiple websites, you can manage them in here. So in this case, let's go and click on the website name itself. And as you can see, we now have the option to change to a different website if you want to. So for example, I want to go to this website here that I have that is published right now. And from here, it should switch us to that specific website. As you can see, switching uh, complete. Now, in this case, you can change a few things as well here by clicking on the profile icon at the top left, and you should be able to see your actual profile. So and this concludes uh, uh, changing your notifica uh, notification settings, app language, app display, help articles, and if you want to log out, you can go and click on log out here as well. Now, if you want to manage your account settings, you can go and click on the appropriate link here and change your basic info, login info, and even add two-step verification just to secure your account and even delete your account if you want to. Now, in this case, at the top right, you have your notification. So in this case, this is where your notifications uh, will be uh, redirected. Now, if you click on the three dotted icon here, you have the option to view your live site, share URL of your website here, or go to the site and app section. Now, when you go to the site and app section, you have the option to connect a domain if you want to share URLs or even view the actual website. So in this case, you have the option to uh, customize or invite members or even view this one and get your site discovered. So there are going to be a lot of things that you can uh, do here basically. So if you want to connect your domain, just click on connect domain here and just follow the following steps for you to connect your domain. Now, what are the other steps or other features that we can access here? Now, we also have activity here, which includes all the activity that you have on your website. Now, this is a great section for viewing your activity. So may, uh, in this case, it will actually compile all the activities that you receive on your website in here. Now, if you want to immediately create a specific type of content here, like for example, if you want to create an invoice, you could go and click on the option that says add. 
and it will give you the option to do quick action. So in this case, create invoices, more actions, send a push notification, share mobile announcement, or may even make a video or create a social post or create an email campaign. Now that's how you do those things, which is something really, uh, really cool because you could immediately do things here by clicking on the add button. Now inbox will contain all the images that you have on, or sorry, the messages that you have on your account. So in this case, you can view them by clicking on the actual uh, message. As you can see, we have our message here. And if you want to start managing them, you could go and click on the three dot icon at the top right. And from here, you could basically mark them as, uh, as red, edit list, or even adjust your settings for your uh, side chat. So in this includes, you send their email address, save replies, business number settings, notification settings about Wix inbox. Like for example, they send their email, you could go and uh, change this by clicking on this one and use a Gmail address if you want to just follow the on-screen steps. Now you can even view the save replies here, which is the automatic replies that you, that you save on your website. Now, if you want to edit them, just click on the uh, the right icon or your pencil icon uh, underneath on it. And from here, you have the save reply name, the message itself. And if you want to delete it, just click on the delete reply option there. Now, in this case, what does the manage option do? Well, the manage section, like what we have on the original website at the left panel, you have the option on your payments, your portfolio, photo albums, getting paid from your website, customer leads, and marketing. So basically, this is like the side panel that you always see whenever you're editing your website. So for example, if you want to adjust your payments, you could go to payments here. And in this case, you can go and click on connect a payment method if you want to. Also have portfolio here if you want to manage that, like fashion, portraits, and whatnot. Also have the photo albums, galleries, if you have any photos that is on your website. Also have analytics, like marketing, and all of those important things they want to do on your website. So uh, in this case, uh, using the actual website is pretty easy. And if you're like, for example, you're actually pretty um, confused on a specific setting that you're looking for. Well, you could actually use the search function at the top right, as you can see. At the top right, you have the magnifying glass on there. So you could go and click on it. Like for example, I want to say it is going to be payment. So as you can see, we have the payment uh, setting here available for us if you want to. So yeah, so using the search function here allows you or actually helps you uh, be uh, informed on wh where things are actually at or uh, find a quick uh, setting itself in just in case you, you are not yet that used to the actual mobile app. So use the search function here. It's actually pretty, pretty helpful. So by the way, you could again just, uh, go to your uh, site here. And if you like, for example, if you want to create a new website, you can go and choose the create new option at the very bottom and go through the whole process. So if you're familiar with creating a Wix website, we just need to complete the uh, following options here, like the uh, categories, the name for the website and whatnot. So yeah, so I also have the option to view the trash here. So websites that you've deleted before. So you should be able to recover them in this section here. So yeah, so those are the basics that you need to know uh, to, for you to start using the Wix owner app here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.